What would Hayden Fry have to say about this? Kirk, uh, what do you think? I, I'm not sure exactly what he'd say, but it'd probably be pretty witty and entertaining. <laughs> uh, he's pretty quick on his feet. But I, I, I can't, I can't, I mean, I can't believe it. Uh, your, what's your perspective on, uh, I guess, the Big 18 right now? Yeah, I'll start with the, the Big 16. Uh, you know, it was a year ago, July, uh, when they made that announcement. And two, two things really uh, kind of hit me right off the, the, the mark was, uh, number one, I was amazed how quietly uh, they were able to keep it. It just, you know, it really uh, uh, was quietly done, executed. And I, I don't know how many people were in the loop, but in this day and age, for something not to leak out prior to the announcement, it was really impressive. And the so, second, you know, takeaway is pretty obvious. I think mean, it's been uh, maybe um, even further substantiated since that time. But, you know, pretty much now, right, I think what you can do with college football is take tradition and just take geography, kind of throw it out the window, and it's, it's a whole different game than it was uh you know, even 10, 15 years ago. Do you like it? Uh, it, it really doesn't matter. I mean, you learn to love whatever you're, you're doing, you know, and uh, whatever the circumstances are. Uh, I think from a fan standpoint, uh, selfishly, you know, that was uh, probably a better deal when you, you could uh, travel geographically. Our conference, we have great fan attendance, great support, and our fans travel really well. Uh, it's going to put a little bit more pressure on them. And, you know, maybe the novelty aspect will be, be really uh, attractive to them and, I'm sure they'll find ways to justify uh, hitting their budgets up a little bit. But, um, you know, I I think, you know, it is what it is, and we'll deal with it. I I guess my other takeaway a year ago, uh, and I really didn't hear many people talk about this over the course of the last 12 months, but I'm starting to hear it now. Uh, One of my first thoughts last year, too, was, you know, how would you like to be an Olympic sport coach uh, on one of those two West Coast teams, the California, the L.A. teams, Uh, you know, and thinking about playing a volleyball game on a Thursday night in New Jersey or Maryland, uh, you know, you're flying charter, you know, commercial and, uh, your, your student athletes are going to class on top of it. So, you know, the reality is in football, it's a little bit easier. We, we fly charter. We, we miss, uh, five Friday afternoons a year, basically, maybe we'll have to do more to go to the West coast, but our, our class interference is pretty minimal. Um, you know, it's not much fun coming back from a night game anywhere. Certainly if you're, you're going, you know, time zones, uh, West to East, but, Again, you're talking about such a small number uh, of days in a year compared to uh, the Olympic sports. I think that's really where the hardship's going to be, and uh, it's going to be, you know, maybe not the most financially, uh, you know, prudent thing to be doing either. But so, you know, there obviously is a bigger picture here when all these decisions get made. And and I know I'm asking down the road questions to start our conversation here, and you're on the eve of a of a of a playing season and a big one at that for for Iowa. Uh, but w- what is the stat? Like, what are the conversations being had about the schedule for future years? Do, uh, do we do we have to tear up the Big Ten schedule that you just got because Oregon and Washington's coming in? And are there divisions? Is it just going to be one eighteen team mosh pit, Coach? Yeah, yeah, uh, yeah, I'm only laughing because we just spent uh, you know better part of a day and a half uh, back in February arguing and. You know, left uh, everybody unhappy about what the schedule is going to look like whenever the uh, next two teams join us. And right. I'm pretty sure they can just tear all that up and start over again. So, uh, but that that's you know it's part of coaching. So anyway, yeah, all, all that stuff. I mean, you deal with it. Ultimately, uh, it's not like we got a lot of sand. How that stuff comes down anyway. And uh, to your point earlier, you know, really kind of where I think most of us are, are directing our energy and thoughts right now is to. To, you know, whatever opponents it, are, it is that we're uh, going to face. And in our case, you know, we're just thinking about Utah State right now. Catch the Rich Eisen Show every single day on the Roku Channel, 12 to 3 Eastern, for free.